Welcome to New Orleans Saints. Now I'm your host, Trace Gerard, and in today's show, we're going to be breaking down some Sean Payton trade ideas and who I would draft with those picks that you were to trade him for. And I just want to set the scene. I want to lay out some rules for the offseason in general. I've already get, had people in the comments saying, Trace, it's getting crazy. Trace, what do you think? And you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do any of this. All right. Rules are nothing is impossible in the NFL. If you haven't learned that by now, I don't know what to tell you. Tyreek Hill wasn't supposed to get traded. Now it's a Dolphin. Deshaun Watson was never going to the Broncos or to the Browns. Remember, at one point, it was to, to the Saints. Now he's a Cleveland Brown. Russell Wilson was never going to get traded to the Broncos. It happened. This is the biggest thing. You have to go into the offseason knowing it can be crazy and knowing things can get out of pocket. And here we are, Ian Rappaport reporting this yesterday. The Broncos, Arizona Cardinals, Cardinals and now the Texans all have permission to speak with the Saints head coach, Sean Payton. Sources say plenty of good options will be available for the winning head coach. And then also, Sean Payton does have an interview scheduled with the Broncos, and it's, it's official. Like, it, it's happening. He's interviewing with the Broncos. It's on paper. It's on document. So I want you to go down and let me know. Where do you think Sean Payton will coach in 2023? And if you don't think he'll coach in 2023, if you think he might sit out like a lot of people are thinking, let me know about that as well. But let me know. Where will he coach? And if he won't be, share your opinion because that's, well, that's what we do here at Saints Now. And also, while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe. Because if there's any updates, if there's anything newsworthy, if there's any good buzz, rumors, anything worth covering, I got you covered. Saints Now will have a video for you. We'll have coverage for you. Community tab, whatever it is, subscribe. Turn on your notifications. We'll break it all down for you, but make sure you subscribe and turn on your notice so that way you stay informed and you never miss a thing around the New Orleans Saints. All right, without further ado, let's talk about it. Should Arizona be trading for Sean Payton? They have the number three overall pick. And here is my trade idea that I had in mind. I was going to go and show, throw this out. Sean Payton for get the Cardinals get. The Saints will receive the first round pick that they have this year and this year's second round pick. That would be the third overall and then the second round pick. That's just whenever it is. And drum roll, please. With the third overall pick, the New Orleans Saints are selecting C.J. Stroud, quarterback out of Ohio State University. And hey, Whenever you look at him, he's a dog. A lot of people like Bryce Young over him. C.J. Stroud, though, is a phenomenal and a very special talent. And if you didn't watch that Georgia-Ohio State game, I, I mean, he was just tearing it up. He was putting balls in great spots. He had Ohio State in a position to go and win the national championship had they made that field goal. But when you look at his stats, 66% completion rate, just under or just over 3,500 yards. 40. This is my favorite part. 41 touchdowns, six interceptions. And I just want to go and show this picture really quick. Does, does this look familiar? Does this, does this connection look familiar? Wouldn't this be fun? They, they did great together. They did great things when they were at Ohio State together. When you look at Ohio or Chris Olave's stats his senior year, guess who his quarterback was? C.J. Stroud, 65 receptions, 936 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 14 and a half yards per catch. I mean, come on. C.J. Stroud and Chris Olave would be so fun to reunite, and I think that it would be such an awesome way to get the Saints quarterback of the future, take care of that issue, and hey, get some youth in this offense and get some excitement out there as well. But I want you to weigh in as well, because this show is not about me, it's about the Houdat Nation. I want you to shout him out. Who do you want to be the Saints quarterback in 2023? It doesn't have to be a draft pick. It could be somebody the Saints trade for. It could be somebody internal like Taysom Hill or keeping Jameis Winston. It could be somebody you trade or sign in free agency. Let me know, though, who do you want to be the Saints quarterback in 2023? All right, next thing's next. Sean Payton to Houston. This is kind of interesting. The Texans have the number two overall pick and the number 12 overall pick. And before we get kind of crazy and get out, outlandish, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Houston's not going to give up that second overall pick. The only way they're going to get out of that is if they somehow trade with the Bears to jump them and get up to the first overall pick. They need a quarterback desperately. They're not running it back with Davis Mills. That just ain't happening. They need a quarterback really bad. I expect them to take Bryce Young with that first or second overall pick. Right now they have the number two overall pick, but I expect them to take Bryce Young early. So I want to throw this trade idea out there. Sean Payton for the number 12 overall pick. 
That's fair, right? I think that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty nice trade. You also take a second round pick. Could also be next year's second round pick. Whatever it is. But point being first and second round pick. You kind of see where I'm going with for the trade ideas. But, and Roger Goodell could be saying with the 12th overall pick, the New Orleans Saints select Brian Branch. Safety out of Alabama. And man, I need you guys to all go back and look at the tape from the Kansas State-Alabama game. I kid you not, I can't name more than five plays that Brian Branch wasn't somehow involved. He was all over the place. And if you take a look at this step chart, you got Tyron Matthew and Marcus May as your, as your starting safeties. Justin Evans, JT Gray, backups, not bad, not great. You could definitely do better. Dan Sorensen, somehow one of the leading interception guys on the team. I don't know how. PJ Williams, but it's one of those things when you get youth in there, 90 tackles, three sacks, two interceptions, and seven pass breakups, Brian Branch is a unit, and he's a very talented player. And one thing to note, Marcus May might have a suspension incoming. He had a DUI arrest whenever he was with the New York Jets. His DUI hearing was pushed back to August 24th, which is during training camp. So could a suspension be incoming? You might have to expect it. It might make sense for the Saints to go get a safety and fill that need. And hey, get some help next to Tyron Matthew while Marcus May is missing time. And then even then, you can rotate him in. Maybe even get a nickel back. You maybe even get some nickel help. Throw somebody in there with another guy. I don't know what you could possibly do with making a bad decision by taking Brian Branch. He's a very talented player. I'm very high on him. But again, I want you to let me know. What position do you want the Saints to take in the draft, whether it's first or second round? I want you guys to let me know. Quarterback is a position in need. Safety, defensive interior, all of that is important. Running back is also a big one. But I want you guys to go down and let me know. And if you want to go ahead and get hooked up with a Chris Olave, Tyron Matthew, Taysom Hill, Alvin Kamara, and name the jersey, we got you covered. Chatsports.com slash Saints jerseys. I picked up my jerseys from him. I'm just about to order another Marshawn Lattimore one. I'm going to get a Taysom Hill one later on this year before during the offseason. So I'm going to be using this link, chatsports.com slash Saints jersey. I'll have it in the comment section in the description of this video for you. Go get yourself some gear right now. And the third and final team that we're discussing today, could Denver get... Sean Payton. And as I said earlier, they have an interview on the books. It's going to be happening. It's going to go down. The Denver Broncos have the 49ers pick. We don't know what the pick is right now as they're still alive in the playoffs and expected to go on a nice little run. Hoping Brock Purdy can make a, uh, a run for the 49ers. But if it's not high, it's going to be around 29 overall, I would expect. Right now, Tankathon has them at number 29 overall. And with the 29th overall pick. The New Orleans Saints select Siaki Ika, the defensive tackle out of Baylor, former LSU Tiger. And this kid is massive at 357 pounds, six foot four, just an absolute unit of a human being. And he could plug into this Saints depth chart so well next to Cam Jordan. In Kentavia Street, did a great job really stepping into his, into his role. David Onyemata really took strides towards the end of the season. Shai Tuttle, not doing great, not doing terrible. You could always ask for a little bit more in your defensive interior, and I think Siaki Ika could do that. The numbers might look underwhelming at 24 tackles, two tackles for loss, zero sacks, and two pass breakups, but that's not to take away from what his role is. He is a run stopper. He is going to clog up the middle of the lane. He is going to take the double team blocks. He's going to take on your top uh, offensive lineman that you're going to be going up against because he's so big and because he's so aggressive. I am very big on Siaki Ika. And I just want to give one shout out and honorable mention to Drew Sanders. Woo pig suey. Sorry, guys. I, I had to do it. You know, go Tigers and whatnot. But hey, I'm an Arkansas guy. I'm an Arkansas grad. And hey, I'm Arkansas proud. But Drew Sanders, linebacker, he could replace Zach Bond and be what the Saints wanted Zach Bond to be. And take a look at these numbers before you get in the comments and start saying, Trace, stop talking about Arkansas guys. I'm just going to let the numbers talk. 103 tackles, 13 and a half tackles for loss, 
Nine and a half sacks. Three forced fumbles. He also had multiple interceptions, multiple pass breakups. Drew Sanders is a monster, and I am a huge fan of him. He was a big reason why the Arkansas Razorbacks defense was t as talented as it was and why they were able to find the, the success that they were able to have. So to round things out, who is your top draft target in the 2023 NFL Draft? Go down in the comment section. Let me know. And don't forget, hit the thumbs up icon. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe. That way you never miss a thing. Who that nation? Y'all stay golden. I'll catch you next time.